Hello, mate. Welcome to another episode of Money Mates TV, mate. This is your boy, Sneaker and Money Mates, mate. <laughs> you too, what's happening? Welcome back to another episode of Money Mates TV. This is your boy, Sneaker and Money Mates, as always. Do me them three things like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe. Smash that notification bell for the kid, man. And stay tuned, man. We got another unboxing for you guys today, today, today. Ain't gonna waste no time. We gonna jump straight into these guys. Bang. Dessert. Pocket full of dead dudes. Dessert. Your pocket full of dead dudes. Dessert. Pocket full of dead dudes. Pocket full of been through the pain. Dessert. All right, so shoe came out about three weeks ago, man. You feel me? Ain't gonna waste time, man. I'ma let y'all see the box, man. Then we gonna open these guys together. Oh, I shouldn't have let y'all see the box first. But anyway, shoe came out, man. <sighs> clean, clean. All right, so of course, you know, the shoe came out soon as this. Blah, 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 blah. Join one box, self-explanatory. Self, self-explanatory. Boom. Dispense for music. Q. Thank you. Go to guys, you feel me? Another dope, dope pickup. Oh man, anybody who has this shoe, you guys know one thing about this joint. This thing is potent. That joint one smell is on ten on this shoe, man, right here, man. I don't know if it's because of this uh, patent leather or what, but these things are strong, man. Good strong smell too, man. Not that gas. But a good strong smell, you feel me? But gold toe retro ones, ladies and gentlemen, come with the two laces additional with that black one. You see them, gold and white. Blacks are already inside of that guy. So I had the OG ones in high school, man. The white, black, and red Chicago ones. And in fact, it might was middle school. Anyway, with the panel other. So when I seen these, man, it brought back so many memories. Of course, they brought about three or four other colorway of panel others in between that time to now in these. But yeah, man, it brought back so much memories with those, man. But gold coin, I guess you want to call them gold toe retro one. And I was trying to bring these out to see if the panel leather was similar to another shoe I got, man. So, but before I do that, man, I'm going to just do a quick review of these guys. Let you guys see. Comes with the gold toe. Outside panel is white with that black Jumpman, I mean black Nike check. Jumpman logo is black as well. Followed by that gold heel panel upper and lower heel panel. Then when you switch to the inside of the shoe, you have black paneling. Then you have a gold check. So when you're looking at the shoe in the back, that gold and black check connect in the back like that followed by black tongue with hints of gold in it that insole on these a little on these one the insole is white with that gold nike air logo on them things outsole on both pair are black these are not the top three these are the gold toes Man, and that joy. Mm -hmm. How are you little and you used to like to smell gas? Mm -hmm. Y'all might not didn't like that, that's what I did. But, but it's like, it's just one of the smells where you could just smell it all day. Like, uh, they got a uh, joint one air freshener out, so I just put it in my car. <laughs> no, nah, but man, good look at these joint ones, man. Comment below if you guys got these going after them. Like these better than the uh, top three or got the top three versus these? What is your opinion on them? To me, it's pretty much the same shoe on one of them, of course. You know, one shoe is the top three and the other shoe is different. Actually has a uh, gold outsole on that one. But I got another special surprise for you. So, like I was saying, looking at this panel leather, and I had another shoe 
that was similar with that patent leather on it. Not those ones that I was just telling you about, but another shoe. And I actually wanted to see if the patent leather matched on that shoe versus this one. So, another Jordan box. I'm gonna slide these gold coins to the side for one second. So, another Jordan box. Uh, shoe I haven't reviewed yet either for you guys, which I'll definitely give y'all in-depth look of. But yeah, uh, so what we got is Gold Coin Retro 11, Clothing Ceremony Retro 11 Law, whatever you want to call them. Retro Low Guys. Yes. And I was trying to see what that the same color on that patent leather. Looking at the toe, it looks slightly different. It looks as though this one is a more of a brighter one and this is more of a duller uh, gold patent leather on them. But another shoe I wanted to compare it to and show you guys, this is not a comparison video. This is just showing you the colors, the similarities and the difference of the two patent leathers of gold from Jordan. And I am going to do a review on these gold coins. And I'm going to let you know something about this right here on the back of the shoe. This is a DS shoe, man. Matter of fact, I'm going to tell you all now. If you guys keep your receipts, do not keep your receipts inside of your uh, Jordan boxes. Especially with translucent outsoles, man. When I tell you this happened to three of my uh, 11s at the exact same time. And I'm so pissed about it. Do not do that, ladies and gentlemen. If you have, man. I'm just trying to make sure y'all don't, y'all avoid some of the things that I had to go through. We'll be doing a uh, soul, uh, soul Glow to try to get that out. Haven't done it. Again, this shoe is DS, never been worn, not even out the box. Get my fat jaw, I'm not gonna lick the shoe now. <laughs> but yeah, man, I wanna give y'all a quick look at that, the comparison of those. And you'll probably, you'll actually probably be able to see it better from the back. So if I can give you guys look at the back of it you can see the slightly different colors in that patent leather though gold but yeah man the kid money mitch money mitch tv can bring you guys another look at the gold toe retro one which in my opinion is a clean sleek jordan one man you cannot go wrong with these guys yes the patent leather is stiff compared to a leather retro one but you can break these guys in. My advice, I'm a true 10 and a half. Every Jordan one that I own is a size 11. I advise go up half a size in these guys just because of that uh, patent leather paneling. It is a little stiffer. It is much stiffer than uh, leather. Um, just be honest with you guys. Other than that, clean dope ass shoe. Me, uh, I heard some YouTubers saying don't wear these with white laces. But I seen somebody actually rock them pretty dope with white laces. So me myself, I probably will stick with black, which is uh, what's common and comes in it. So don't be surprised if you see me with these on my IG, which I link below. Go ahead and follow me on there as well. Uh, Twitter and Facebook, you might see pictures of me with these on with a different color lace. But other than that, man, thank y'all for taking time out. To uh, check out the review with the kids, always, man, like, comment, subscribe to the kids. Like, comment, subscribe to the kids, man. Smash that notification bell. No matter of fact, smash that notification. No matter of fact, smash that notification bell. I said it three times so you don't forget. Just hit that 76 bell at the bottom so you stay connected, man. Hit that thumbs up, man. Two seconds. Thumbs up, man. Let me know you appreciate the content that the kid bring you. Other than that, man, I appreciate y'all guys as always, man. Fellow sneakerheads, keep catching that heat. Like what you rock, rock what you like. It's your team, gang, gang. I'm out. Pocket full of dead dudes. Deserty. Pocket full of dead dudes. Deserty. Pocket full of dead dudes. Pocket full of been through the pain. Deserty.